Hey guys! So today I have something that I'm pretty excited about because it's part of my back to school series and it's something that I get requested very often on Tumblr and also Twitter and it's my FAQ about sorority recruitment and just sorority life in general and I'm doing this video to help out girls who are interested in going through recruitment. I am no means saying that you have to go through recruitment because it's the only way to be because that's not how I think at all. I know that sorority life and just Greek life in general is not for everyone and I respect that because there's a bunch of different ways to get involved on campus. You can join other clubs and organizations but this is just how I chose mainly to get involved on campus because I mean it's just a way that I preferred but I'm also in other clubs so don't get me wrong and if it's just something that you're not interested in just don't watch this video because it just be waste of your time. And I don't want that because I want you guys to live life to the full. And yeah, so I often get questions about that and I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there because I know that, you know, sorority rush and recruitment can be like a a touchy subject and I just, you know, it's just a hard thing to describe and to answer questions about because I'm definitely no expert. Like I've I'm only in my sorority for a year and that's barely anything because you're in it for four years. But I'm just trying my best and yeah. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so my first question is just basically what is a sorority? A social organization and it's under the Panhellenic community and what that is, it's just like a community that's in charge of all the sororities and all the chapters, which there's 26 different chapters and what the chapter is, is like your campus might have a bunch of different sorority and each sorority is its own chapter so like you might have Kappa Delta or Chi Omega those are each separate chapters and basically it's a sisterhood organization that you do have to pay dues to be a part of. This money goes towards like formals and socials and mixers and all that fun stuff that comes along with being a sorority which I will talk later about. Stuff like that so it's not like you're paying for your friends which I know is a big stereotype when it comes to Greek life. I mean those are just people saying you're paying for friends, you just gotta ignore it, whatever. And basically it's a social organization, like I said, full of girls that have the same values and also the same goals to like make each other well more more well-rounded by the end of the four years because you can only be in your sorority for four years. However, what makes each sorority different is they have different like little just quirks that are different, like your different philanthropies and stuff like that. What a philanthropy is, it's the organization that the sorority works with. And when you go through recruitment and you like accept the bid on bid day, one thing to remember is that you can only be in one sorority. Like once you're initiated and you drop out, if you like you feel like you no longer belong in it, you cannot go through recruitment again and join another sorority. And it's just something that you're part of for a, a lifetime, even after the four years of college is up. If that makes any sense. Okay, then there's recruitment. And recruitment is probably like the most fun thing Ever. like I wish I could go through I know it sounds really stupid but I wish I could go through recruitment again because it was just like a lot of fun and you just get to talk and talk and talk and I really like talking obviously because I sit in front of my camera and talk all the time like it's no big deal it's whatever but um, recruitment varies from school to school like it can be a hardcore thing at some schools or it can be like pretty laid back like it's pretty laid back on my campus and what re what you do is you can have formal recruitment which is usually at the beginning of the fall semester or the winter spring semester or you can have the informal recruitment and it's just more laid back so what formal recruitment is is it's like usually a weekend or a week long or two weeks I've heard <laughs> like it can be pretty long on some it's campus journey I guess that's the right word, that you are a part of, that you sign up for, and it's a mutual selection process, and it starts off with you visiting all the different sororities the first night, and then each night you narrow it down one by one, so it's a mutual selection process, meaning that you will rank them, and that they pick what girls that they are going to invite back to the parties, and it's all done by like a computer and technology, so I don't really understand that part, I don't really understand how it works. You learn through going through these parties, which they're not really parties, I would like to say that they're more of like a meet and greet, but like, that's just me being a YouTuber, like a meet and greet, but you just go around, you meet all the different sorority chapters that your campus offers, and you find out what's different about each and every one, and you find out how you bond with each of the girl, like, 
the girls in each sorority just to find the place where you belong. And as the week continues, your amount of parties that you attend narrows down. And they also, like the parties get longer in time because when you first start recruitment, the parties can be like 15 to like 30 minutes, I don't know, I'm just picking random numbers out of my head. And so they're quicker so you can visit all of the houses, but once it comes to the end, you're visiting few, but you're visiting them for a longer amount of time to make sure that that is like the sorority for you and just making sure that you fit in and it's what you are looking for in a sisterhood and everything like that. First, you're assigned a recruitment counselor, which they have different names. They can be like Ro Gammas or Gamma Kais. They're girls that disaffiliated with their sorority for like a few months or something like that. Just so they, like, they got rid of their letters so you could find yours. That's what I think they're like little catchphrases and it's really cute. And they are going to help you. They're not going to persuade you to go one sorority over another. They just want you to make sure that you pick the one that you feel comfortable with and also to help answer your questions when going through recruitment. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. Like if you have any questions about like each of the sororities, they are knowledgeable in those areas and they can tell you stuff about them. And without persuading you any they're unbiased that's sort of looking for and also answer your questions about like clothing and like what to wear and stuff like that and they will be your best friend going through recruitment once you start recruitment you get like this little booklet which I still have my booklet I'm not gonna show you it right now because it's probably like really embarrassing or something like that and it has all the different sororities in it and so basically you can like usually there's a place where you can write stuff so you can write down like your thoughts like that's how ours was at least and it gave you like a little broad overview of like each of the sororities so as you go you can like learn about them before so as the parties get fewer and fewer and they also get longer the attire also changes the attire that you wear ranges at every single different school that you go to the first day you could be wearing like t-shirts and just very very casual and then by the end of the night or by preference round it's pretty dressy like cocktail attire so just make sure you check out your booklet or you ask your Gamma Chi um, what they think would be appropriate to wear because that will be very useful and then by the end of recruitment the last night is called preference round and, and preference round is when you usually go to like two or three houses or chapters and by the end preference it's a very like emotional round I guess is how I would explain it. It's all about sisterhood and you kind of get a glimpse as to what it would be like to be a sister and a part of that sorority. It definitely helps you decide like where they or where you think you belong. Hopefully by the end of the preference round, which is very formal attire, you have a better understanding of like which sorority you feel the most comfortable in. Yeah, so that's what preference round is. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm not very good at this kind of thing. I'm so sorry if this is a horrible video. <sighs> I really hope not. And then the next day after you sign like your preference card and everything like that is bid day. And not everyone is guaranteed a bid. That's a very rare situation, but I'm not going to say that it's for sure happening. And on bid day, you you all like come to this room and you Sometimes like you have to like sit on your bid and it's just like torture because you cannot open it until everyone like they say that you can open it. And you open it and then you find out like what chapter has invited you to be a, a sister in and then you go through like an initiation period and it's just like a lot of fun. Make sure you wear something that's comfortable. Recruitment is a very long time of standing and walking and fun stuff like that and so you want to make sure you're comfortable in whatever you wear you don't want to be like pulling up your strapless bra like the entire night because that can probably get annoying I know that from personal experience and also your shoes start to hurt after a while because like I said you're standing on your feet for an awfully long time You usually put on a bunch of these service opportunity events and you work hands on with this, um, your philanthropy like ours is Girl Scouts of America in Prevent Child Abuse America and I really just like learning about all that different organizations and things like that because I you know it makes an impact on the community even if it's just like donating like we donated a ton of money this past year with our Shamrock event and it just goes towards that cause and I think that's a really great thing to do so it's not all just like fun and games you are working together 
to make the world a better place. As cliche as it sounds. And being a sorority, they really want you to get involved, so they like highly encourage like outside organizations. And also academics is a big part of it. Most sororities, I mean, I'm not sure about this, most of them have a GPA requirement, and they also have like, study hours. So that's definitely useful in college because it's not all fun and games. You actually have to study, which I think is good because, I mean, who wants to, like, flunk out of college? That's just not fun. If you Then you have sisterhood events, which are always really fun because it's all your sisters getting together and going to, like, diff different things. Like, you could go to a performance that one of your sisters in. You could go to, like, the movies. I don't know. It just, just varies. Everything I feel like varies these days with us, all these questions, so I'm really sorry. Once you accept a bid, a few weeks later you are assigned a big, which is really exciting because my big and I are very, very close and that's something I'm very thankful for. And it's just kind of like, once again, a mutual selection, at least um, in my chapter. Basically going to be like your role model through the whole like new member period and hopefully become somebody that you're very, very close with and that's what they want to happen just to make the sisterhood even stronger because sisterhood's always and then usually there's meetings that your sorority has probably like once a week depends I have no idea for other campuses but I know that ours is once a week okay, so I'm gonna start wrapping up this video so most importantly when going through a recruitment something to remember is to definitely be yourself because it's just something that you want to make sure that you're yourself so then you pick the sorority that fits you because you don't want to be in a sorority obviously if you're going through recruitment and you end up being in one that you do not feel comfortable with because you were acting like somebody that you're not going through recruitment and it would just make a much easier process for you and yeah there's like a quote that's like be yourself because being somebody else is already taken or something like that I don't know I just think that's a really good quote because I just feel like it's very applicable applicable to this whole situation so yeah I really hope I answered most of your questions if not you can leave them in a comment below and I will definitely try to answer them if not me somebody else might be able to read it and help you out because I'm not probably good at answering all those questions but you can also look it up like Greek chat that kind of just go over like the whole recruitment thing and think tips and everything like that and I have a video of like outfits of the day that I wore through recruitment and if you want to see that, I will link in the down bar. If you want to see me do like a new one, just let me know. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you guys later. And thank you so much for watching.